What's up everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to the ABCs of snowboarding. And today's letter is H. It's not gonna be so much of a keyword, it's just gonna be a bunch of tips for heel side carves. H, heel side carves. Because when you're carving, it should be half of all your turns, 50%. But there's so many people I see and they have a nice clean toe side carve but then their heel side is just makes the track me leaves this big skid mark. And uh, yeah, mo most people just can't make, it's a lot harder to make a real nice clean heel side carve. So today I'm gonna give my tips for that. And uh, first and foremost, forward lean on your high backs. You need that. That is how we apply leverage into the heel side and are able to keep our legs bent rather than having to go like this and straighten our legs during the turn. So just equipment wise, you need forward lean. Tip two, do not be afraid to throw in speed checks on this because if you get going too fast, it, may, it becomes very difficult to maintain that nice clean turn. So the speed check will look like this. Especially on steeper train, just toss in those speed checks and it'll bring your speed down to a pace that you can actually carve at. If you're going too fast, it's just gonna make it almost impossible. Tip three, often I try to think about when I'm carving about as even as pressure as possible along my entire edge. And, uh, but for the heel side carve, it's pretty, it's pretty good to actually put a little more weight on your front foot. So uh, maybe 60, 40, but just think about playing around with that. I know if my weight is in the, on the back foot, my carve is a lot bigger and it, I just don't get the same action out of it. So weight distribution, maybe just up front a little bit. Also upper body twisting. So we can take a safety look over this way. Tip four, bend your knees excessively. I'm trying to think about sitting in a chair maybe, balanced over your heel side edge during the carve. Tip five, try to play around with grabbing that uh, front side edge of your board. And it's not gonna be by this motion of hunching over, it'll be by doing that squat and getting so low that your hand just gets here. And it's a really nice position of power and the car will just do the turn for you. Tip six, whenever you're on flatter terrain and going pretty slow, practice rocking your board back and forth. For carving, it's that exact same type of motion. It's just going edge to edge. Rather than a lot of people, they'll get want to do a heel side carve and they do a motion like this from their toes and then they kick that back leg out. And kicking that back leg out is going to make a skidded turn every time. It looks like this. Tip seven, I think this is uh, get going across the run and then patience because if you're once you're going across the run and as you lower the edge angle and transfer to your heel side edge it's a pretty slow motion and right away there's not going to be a bunch of forces on your board so it's going to make a big turn so just be patient sitting on that edge you could almost start that turn halfway across the run So just think about standing over that edge, balanced with your knees bent, standing, balancing on that edge for quite a while. 
tip eight, track analysis. Make a nice heel side carve and then kind of try to cut up the hill and then look at the track you made. Is it a nice clean pencil line and were you able to get shape of it and back, cut back uphill? Or did it bust into a skid and get wider and you lose momentum because of it? Track analysis. Looks decent. Hip nine. A heelside carve should scare you. It's a very blind turn. It is hard to twist and look up the mountain that way. But for safety, if you're getting these aggressive at all, you have to start doing it because skiers and snowboarders bomb down the hill. Don't expect this kind of quick motion, this quick turn, and you will. We will get hit at some point if we're not doing our safety check. So just look at me on this one. I'm on the run, side of the run. You know, best stop on the side of the run looking up the hill this was a bad spot for me to uh, start actually because i can't see above that but i'll drop in traverse looking i got an opening heel side car now i'm looking back up toe side car quick glance and tip 10 it's uh if you want to sharpen that turn up it's all about tilting that board at a much higher edge angle and then you can actually with starting with very bent knees you can extend your knees applying extra pressure into your board side cut and that'll decamber it and tighten up the turn substantially so uh, as long as you don't aren't hitting your heel bindings heel cups this is a perfect way to get aggressive with heel side carves <laughs> So there you have 10 nice tips for getting carving on your heel side edge, whether it's some beginner type of things, intermediate, or getting a lot more dynamic with it. So I hope that uh, plants a seed in your, of your, in your mind of things to try out there. And uh, the last things I'll say with it, it's also just a matter of frequency, repetition, and how many miles you put on that heel side edge. If you are always, every day, riding on that, your body's gonna make these little micro adjustments to get a more comfortable stance, to get a more efficient body position. And uh, you know, just, you gotta start that with just more bending your knees often and slowing it down. But uh, then it's uh, all about you having some ideas and just going out and working on it yourself. So thank you all so much for subscribing to this ABCs of snowboarding. I hope the whole series helps you on your way to carving mastery. And now I'll finish this one with uh, just what I talked about, the frequency of how long I stand on that tilted edge of my board. So just some nice mellow carving here. Thank y'all for watching. Happy shredding.